Matrix again. Um, I've been seeing that people have been having some problems with their Team Fortress 2 dedicated servers. Um, you know, obviously making Gmod servers. So I'm going to be sh uh, making this tutorial on how to use SRCDS and make a Gary's Mod server for free. Okay, first step is going to your C drive, your hard drive, and making a new folder called SRCDS in there. Just get your program files, everything in here. Just make a new folder called SRCDS. It shouldn't have anything in yes. Yeah, shouldn't be anything in here yet, but um, that's where you should be. Okay, second step. I'll have a link in the description. Um, but this is where you need to go, and we're getting Windows HLDS update tool. And you're going to save file. Get this done downloading. Show up on your desktop or wherever you say downloads. You know, follow the installation. Make sure that the destination folder is your C drive. Um, and your SRCDS folder this is where all your files are going to be installed. Okay, once you go through that, you just select your mod modem settings and everything, and then you should see something like this in here. Don't do anything with these files yet. Well, actually, just don't touch any of the other files except for this. You're going to do HLDS update tool. Continue and it should come up like that. Your first time it's actually going to take a little bit longer than that but now you have all the correct files and they're updated so now um, now we've got all of our, all of our root folder uh, installed go to your command prompt if you're running on XP um, there should be a little run thing down here and just do run and then type in CMD for Vista users like myself, go to Accessories, and it should be Command Prompt under Calculator. Okay. Now, um, this is where you actually start to install your server files. Okay. I just typed in the location of where we're going to do this command, and I'll have all the commands in the video description. Okay, so basically what this is, is it's telling the HLDS update tool to install all the root files for our Gary's Mod server in the C drive SRCDS folder. Okay, so then you're going to get something like this that's going to pop up. And uh, this usually takes, depending on if you're just updating it, um, or if you're doing a complete reinstall or installing it for the first time it could take between a half an hour and 15 minutes depending on how good your computer is, even longer maybe um, but usually for me if I'm doing a fresh reinstall it usually takes about uh, 15 to minutes to half an hour so you can see here it's starting the installation of all the uh, all the files that we need for the server so I'm going to go ahead and cut out and uh, wait until this is done installing. Okay, so once it is done, um, you should still have your command prompt out. And even though we don't really need it, just minimize it. Um, okay, so now you should see, when you go to your SRCDS folder, you should see that um, there are two new folders, half like two, and orange box. Let's go ahead and open orange box so I can show you how to add content to your server. Um, so this is um, all the content from your other Steam games that is loaded onto the server so far. Uh, Half-Life 2 content, you know, um, props and stuff like that. I'll show you how to get like Counter-Strike, Day Defeat, Team Fortress 2, Portal, all that stuff in here in a second. But to add add-ons and things, it's just like your regular Gmod folder. Um, add-ons, you know, whatever. Everything in here, so it just installs like a regular Gmod. Um, so, to
to add content to it from other games. Um, you'll need to get a program called GCFscape. I'll include it in the video description. And basically what this does is it accesses files um, from other games so that you can uh, view them and add them and edit them and stuff like that. So we're going to uh, open um, let's try to get some day defeat stuff. Okay, so all you have to do is go to your SRCDS orange box folder. It's day defeat. These are just all the um, files for it. I'm gonna right click, extract, and to the orange box folder. So you've got Half Life 2 Count, you got content, you got Gary's Mod content, and now you're gonna have day, day defeat content on your server. See day defeat folders appeared. So just wait for it to extract. Okay. So that is how you do it for all the content. I'm just gonna show you. Um just gonna file open. And this is where you find these are in your ste uh, Steam Steam Apps folder. So, um, say, you know, you've got all your game content in here. You got Portal, ep Episode 2 content, you know, everything that you have, uh, you can put in here. So, that's, uh, very useful. Okay, so, see, that's all installing props and everything. So, um, now we're going to be moving on to, uh, testing and, in, uh, running it. So, running your server. So, uh, what you have to do is you have to go to your desktop and new shortcut. Okay, so this is where we want to be, uh, dedicated server setup. I'll include this in also in the video description. This is all we did um, in this tutorial so far. We did not do this. We installed it manually uh, using command prompt. And so this is basically the way that you can do it for if you don't want to get GCFscape. For me, it's just very useful. Um, so this is what you'd have to do. It's basically the same command line as updating or installing Gears Mod Server, except you just uh, do these. So it's very helpful if you don't want to get uh, GCF Scape. Um, okay, so starting it, we're gonna need this command line down here. You can always change this. Um, we're gonna have to change it right here, actually. So max players, you can set max players. You can set map you want it on. So next, uh, dedicated. Okay, uh. so you just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Gary's Mod Dedicated Server. So, um, you can start it now. And here we go. Okay, so this is your console for the server. A lot of people have been wondering how to change game modes, and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, it's change game mode. And then your map. And then if you want to do RP, it'd just be dark RP. Whatever. And then, you know, game. So that's that's the code for it. If you want to change game mode, I know it took me a while to figure that out too. Okay, so this is how you install and run a free Gearsmod dedicated server using SRCDS.